Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and it's been about six months since I've made a video. Reason why? Well, it's been about six months since I've seen my tank. It's a crazy story that I'd love to tell you, but it probably just doesn't belong on YouTube. But in today's video, we're going to visit my tank for the first time in six months, and it's rough. In this video, I'm focused on the tank and resurrecting the tank and saving the tank. So video quality, far from my best. The audio quality, my mic was set up wrong. It's so bad. Bear with me. In this video, we're keeping it real. And here's the tank after six months. Uh, it's pretty, pretty rough. Ooh. Hey, the little green bubble's still alive. Hard to tell much with all the algae on here. Hey, that guy, he's doing good. That helio. <sighs> feel like we're missing some fish. I'm not seeing a lot. There's the big flamingi. That used to be that big green bubble. That might be Nemo, hard to tell. Where's his buddy? There they are, there's some fish up here. <sighs> well, let's go look at downstairs, see what we got. So this whole section of filtration right here is off. So we haven't had any calcium alkalinity going to the tank, no carbon, no nothing, and it's dead. It's all dead. The entire frag system, dead. Um, it's just cyanobacteria. There's a little GSD. It's dead. You can see that used to be a big bird's nest colony. Dead. It's all gone. All my little toadstools, yeah, there's a couple zoas in there, three toad, four toadstools, <sighs> it's all dead. Algae, 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 algae. <sighs> I got my work cut out for me. It's all dead. Wow, oh, what a nightmare. A big saving grace is I finally did put an RO top off on here. So this tank has been getting RO water from this top tank for the last six months. That's the reason this tank is alive. I went years without that RO and I'm glad I put it on because it's the only reason upstairs is alive. But as you can see, everything down here in the basement, all my frag tanks, all of them, dead. There's nothing left. So the reason we lost power down here and kept blowing a breaker is you can see this plug is destroyed. That box back there is where all my power runs into. It's supposed to be closed at all times. It was open. I'm going to guess water got to it and fried everything. It's having a hard time auto-focusing guys, but believe me, there's a box back there that's closed now, but it's fried. So I think I got to replace the receptacle. This plug and I think we're gonna be good to go. Shooting on the action cam at the moment just cause anything else here would be insane. So let's start by pulling LG. So if audio sucks, that's what happened. I'm not really as focused on the video side of things today as I am other things. So, remember that green and red Sinarina? Once upon a time, it's probably worth a thousand dollars. Dead. <sighs> the other one, dead. Yeah, the really valuable stuff, it's dead. Oh look, 
Not sure if this was Scully or Sin or not Scully, a camp that or Sign Arena. Dead. It's just dead. It's all dead. Like this was my this was my heart and soul I put into this stuff, and it was thousands of dollars. All dead. Not really worth saving that. Another giant money. Dead. Hi, Carter. <sighs> Dead. Just piles upon piles of algae. Like, look at all this. It's dead. I don't know, what do you think? Do I try to save a toadstool? I don't think so. I don't have a place to put it and I need to turn these lights off. Sorry guys, I know you guys hate seeing that kind of stuff. Like somebody throw a coral away. Well, at some point, you have to make hard decisions like, that used to be an amazing coral. Not going to throw that just yet. We'll see what room we have upstairs. Same here. Dead. Salvageable, but not easily. More algae. I mean, it's just, it's all covered in algae. These pumps have been down. Nobody's been taking care of it. It's all dead. <sighs> bird's nest. I wonder if I have any, even have any of that left. That's a call. That's a type of bird's nest I've been growing for a decade, like a decade. And it might all be gone. I don't know if there's any left upstairs at this point or not. I can't see through the tank to find out. Ugh, more death. All right, this camera's dying and I need to keep it rolling for other reasons. So, as you can see, I'm gonna throw pretty much all of this. Maybe I can save those Zoas. I might try and save those toadstools. And then I'm gonna throw all that algae. I'm gonna throw these covers on here start turning these tanks off, start turning lights off. But first we gotta get pumps and flow and everything working again. Um, you can see I pulled most everything out down here. Mm. What a nightmare. Uh, this thing was full of just fantastic money for it once upon a time. Not dead. Part of the reason is pump's not working. Other pump's not working. It's all dead. All right, there is all of the death. Sorry about the lighting, but yeah, that's all the death in algae. That is half of a 40 gallon trash can filled with dead coral and algae. That's what all that turned into. Devastating. This is give you an idea of how long it's been and how bad it's been. That's the quarantine tank. It clearly hasn't been touched. It's destroyed. It's time to start over. All right, so here's the tank after scraping the glass. That took over an hour. And let's just say we're not done yet. Like at least see inside the tank to see how bad things are. It's rough. It's rough. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That looks rough, but oh, we can work with it and make it pull through. Big green bubble. It's just dead. There's no salvaging that. The acantho, we might salvage. This giant cinerina, we might salvage. Green fox. We might salvage. <sighs> I'm 
My favorite Monty Crazy T, dead. My giant maze brain, dead. Euphelia fared better than I thought. We lost some frog spawn up in here. Um, lost the gold torch. Oh, that's a loss. As you can see, we have tons and tons of cyano. Um, I think I might be the first person ever to kill Immortal Tort. Um, we have just crazy amounts of Aptasia and flatworms in here. Like, the flatworms are always a problem. They've gone to a whole new level. Um, Aptasia is crazy right now. Cyano is crazy. I think what I'm going to do for this Cyano is I'm going to put a whole bunch of purple non-sulfur bacteria in here and see if that gets rid of it. Neither of the pumps are working, the gyre. So I'm gonna pull those, get those soaking in vinegar. Uh, my boy Yellow Tang, he looks so bad, but he's alive. So maybe we can bring him back. He, he was always rough, but oh, he looks rough. Flamingi's in here, Tumini's in here, everybody else is dead. So that means Blue Tang and the Powder Brown. Ugh, what a loss. Oh, my poor branching brain. It's dead and covered in Aptasia. Oh, even this guy's got Aptasia all over it. Oh, what a nightmare. But hey, Noick, eh, you're looking skinny, buddy. You used to be a big fatty. Nemo's alive. There's Nemo. So happy to see him. It's the next morning and I've gone ahead and started it off by resetting lighting schedules. They were way off. So I've reset the T5 so they come on at the right time and halides haven't been coming on for six months. So halides are coming on for two hours again. We want to bring this light up slowly. I don't want to start like eight hours on, T on halides, but we'll get there. So next thing we got going on are gyres. Gyres haven't been working at all. So this one still isn't working. The other gyre I have down in vinegar. So this thing's running in vinegar. I know, some of you hate vinegar. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. So we got that one in vinegar. And this tank had no, almost no flow when I found it yesterday. The sea swirl in the back back there had fallen off. So the end of it had fallen off. So all the flow was straight down. So there was no flow going back and forth in this tank. We had a straight down flow and that's it. So as you can see now, it's moving back and forth. I could probably adjust it a little bit, but at least we have some flow in this tank again. My big task today is the 24 gallon. It was low on water when I found it yesterday. I topped it up last night. Um, as you can see from the coral, we can only do the down view. Eh, it's not good, could be worse though. It's actually better than I thought it might be. But it's completely just neglected. So goal today, get all the glass scraped down and do a big water change on this tank. I've got water mixing up downstairs and hopefully we can get some of that done because is looking real rough. I've spent two solid days working on this tank. And it's so far from done. I still have pumps soaking in vinegar, trying to get good flow to the tank, but I feel like I've performed something short of a miracle here. It's a hundred times better than it was. Now there are major, major issues. But for it to look at this good right now is actually pretty impressive. What I walked into yesterday was just devastation. The coral looked dead. The glass was covered in algae. The, oh my God, I was so scared. Every rock was covered in cyano. So that was a little rough. Audio was rough, tank was rough. Focus was rough. Yeah, not my best video. But you guys, I had to show you the reality of what happened. I missed my tank for six months. Everything downstairs was dead. 
I lost some treasured corals. I lost some of my favorite fish. My blue tang I've had for 10 years is dead. It sucks. But there's only one direction to go, and that's forwards. So let's move forwards. The goal is to keep the house. The goal is to keep the tank. As soon as those kind of things happen, well, we'll rebuild. We'll make it better than ever. And of course, reef stock's coming up. So I get to do reef stock here in March. So that's gonna be great. So the reality is, my tank's back. I can work on the tank. I can take things back to where they were. And then we can just make it so much better in every way. And of course, you guys know me. I've been doing this for like 10 years. We're going to do it. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe. Because why not? Let's do this for another 10 years.